it's around town with Brandy. And I brought Bruce. And I brought Mandy to the Serenity Enhancement Center to talk to Susan about why you might want to bring your family members here. The Serenity Enhancement Center is a senior plus center. And we opened up about six years ago. And the premise is it's a um, socialization program. Um, we've also expanded it now into a cognitive stimulation uh, program and now we're music and memory certified. So for those that may not understand what I'm saying, it's basically you come here and you have a good time, you socialize, but it's with the same people. And with the dementia part of it, if you're a mild to moderate dementia, uh, we feel that we can kind of well, we can't prevent the disease from spreading, and we can't keep it from not doing what it's gonna do, but we can kind of keep you where you are cognitively. So when you're exercising your brain, because a lot of people are like, oh, I'm gonna eat well, I'm gonna exercise, but nobody really does anything for their brain. So that's what we're here for. We work with your brain, your body, your spirit, everything uh, for the whole well-being of the person. So as Susan said, they have activities, and we happen to come for ice cream social. So as you can see, we're enjoying some ice cream. Hi, ladies. Hi. Hello. How are you? Fine. Fine. So um, is ice cream social one of your favorite activities? Sure. Sure. Sure, they say. I would think so. So tell me, what is one of your favorite activities, Miss Susan? Well, we talk to each other. <laughs> Good. It's a company. It's company. It's someone to talk to. Yeah, we share yeah. that. And and um, sometimes we just play games. Play games. Yeah, I heard you guys were rolling dice a little while ago. Yeah. You were playing a memory yeah. game, right? So there's always something going on. And how about you? What do you enjoy? I enjoy playing bingo. Bingo! And doing exercise. Exercise. That's good for you to keep oh, your muscle yeah. strength. Meeting people. Meeting people. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of people. And we make friends here. So Serenity has been a big part for you. Your wife comes, correct? Correct. And um, so tell us a little bit about what it does for you, as well as your wife, to be able to come to this facility. Right, because I thought it was going to stop. It does, for Sally, my wife, it gives her involvement, uh, gives her interesting things to do that I'm not capable or trained to do. Yes. It gives her a place to be, a reason to be. Uh, so that's for her. What it does for me is that frees me up where I don't have to try to stimulate Sally all day long because I'm not, I mean, I can do some things. Right. But, but she gets bored with me. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, and it allows me time to see friends. It allows Enjoy you time. To time to yeah. do dishes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How are you operating now that COVID's begun? Well, because we are at a small number, um, when this all started, we were... 10 and under. So what we did was have guidelines. Um, our participants have, I know it sounds kind of silly, like assigned seats. So they sit in the same spot. They sit in the same chair. Um, we are always cleaning, which we've always done that anyway. Um, and there's the temperature checks in the morning and the staff are checked and they answer all the questions. So Right. I was worried uh, when they said daycare, all these people. You weren't sure, yeah. I wasn't sure. And, I, and of course anyone to be, you know, uncomfortable and, yeah. And Susan said, you need to do what makes you comfortable. Right? And I talked to the doctor and he said, you know, some places may be okay and some places may not. So we took about three or four weeks, maybe four weeks. Uh -huh. right? And it was not easy for me. Yeah, you we, can tell the difference from her being here <laughs> oh, to not God, being yes. here. Right? And uh, I even brought in outside caregivers, which were wonderful, but it wasn't the same. Yes. She wasn't out among other people doing challenging things. I mean, Sally will talk for Susan. I have a hard time getting her to even talk. So she's comfortable here. They're very comfortable here. And people watching right now might have members of their family that need this help. You're accepting new people in your doors, right? We are. We are, absolutely. They can set up an appointment. We're not taking um, appointments freely like we used to since the COVID-19. Uh, so we do ask that you set up an appointment to come. Um, we can do it after hours or weekends, but uh, it does have to be, you know, planned.
I don't have a mask on right now because I'm over here isolated in a corner. But you don't come in here without a mask right, on. Right, there you go, yes. <laughs> and, uh, and somebody's always walking around spraying and wiping down something. And they and check your temperature when yes, they come in. Yes, yes. I don't even check my own temperature. Right, so, so, so they're safe. I have to come here safe. to make sure I'm okay. Right. <laughs> they come here and then they go home. And that's it. They don't go to the stores. They're not gallivanting at the restaurants or anything like that. They are actually doing what they're supposed to do and they're staying safe. Right. So. And you say it's not like a nursing home. You have the same people walking through these doors every day for you, right? We do. Yeah. We do. Thanks for watching Around Town with Brandy. And give Susan a call for a tour if this is something for your family members.